What's up, sports, fitness, and health fans? Coach Frank here. And do I have a miracle case study for you? A young lady who went from needing to lose weight to competition bodybuilding and posing. But make no mistake, she's no poser. And not only is her story miraculous, it's totally attainable. Yes, you can attain results like this too, whether you want to reach competition levels or just want to cross doing you, the most fit version of you imaginable. Find out what her struggles were and how hard life was compared to how easy it became to lose the weight and getting into competition shape. You're about to learn the secret of how this can happen when you know what's really causing the weight problem and discover how to overcome it. So sit tight and listen up because I'm going to introduce you to her and let her tell you the miracle story right after this. Stick around. Game on, sports, fitness, and health fans with another episode of the Sporting Good Posture Digital Radio Experience. Gear up for Coach Frank's advice from the sidelines as he helps you crush your game. No matter what sports, health, or fitness game you play. Hey, this is Coach Frank. I'm Sporting Good Posture. What are you sporting? Hey, Coach, what do you got for us today? Welcome back to another episode of the Sporting Good Posture Digital Radio Show. And yes, it's me again, Coach Frank, with another killer guest you're going to absolutely want to hear from. Interesting enough, you'll meet her here on the air, but you can also meet her anytime in person because she just happens to work as part of my team here at Ideal Health and Wellness Center, helping people just like you lose weight, reduce fat, and increase their health, wellness, and fitness indexes by leaps and bounds. And I really mean that. In fact, that's why I'm interviewing her as a case study, because talk about leaps and bounds. She didn't just lose all the weight she wanted and meet that goal, but she took it to an entirely higher level and succeeded in competition, something she didn't prior know she'd be able to do. So you can see why I don't want you to miss even a minute of her interview. You've got to hear her story. And you're going to get to right after this short message. Hey, Jeremy. Wow, really pumping that iron. Getting buff for summer? Hey, Haley. Wow, you look amazing. I guess the gym's working out pretty well for you. Wish it was for me. Trying to lose some weight, but no matter what I do, I can't seem to take it off. Oh, I've been there. I've tried tons of diets and routines and just couldn't take the weight off no matter what I did. It was really depressing. Well, you obviously did something right. What's your secret? Actually, my chiropractor. Your chiropractor? Really? I was so surprised, but it totally worked. He was doing something called the Chirothin program. The Chirothin program? The Chirothin program is designed like no other. Supervised by licensed doctors of chiropractic, Chirothin is based on your body's natural structure. Following Mother Nature's blueprint, Chirothin gets to the bottom of all the reasons people have difficulty losing weight and puts you on the road to your ideal body. And that means the ideal you. Hey, Jeremy, you're looking pretty buff. Did you check out the Chirothin program? You bet, Haley. Thanks for turning me on to it. For my girlfriend and mom, too. We all had a breakthrough. Can't believe we finally lost the weight. Well, looks like my loss was your gain. (laughs) (laughs) If losing weight is a challenge, get evaluated today for free to see if you are fit for the Chirothin program at Ideal Health and Wellness Center. Don't just get thin, get Chirothin. Call 615-567-6683. My guest today started out as someone I hired to help run my LipoLaser rapid fat loss program that I married up with our now rave-reviewed Chirothin Total Wellness and Weight Loss Program. With a degree in exercise science from Middle Tennessee State and certified as a personal trainer, she had much to bring to the table in joining our team. Not long after she was hired and shortly after revealing to me some of her weight loss goals, inspired by the program I created here and seeing the results people were getting, both rapid and long-term, she quickly jumped on board with a goal of losing some stubborn weight of her own. The miracle? Well, she far exceeded merely losing weight and became a champ. She is now an NPC wellness competitor and has placed second in both her classes for the competition she entered just last year. And if I tell you the timeline she did all this within, you probably wouldn't believe me anyway. So let me let you hear it from her. So please welcome to Sporting Good Posture, Emily Pinkerton. Emily, welcome to the show. Thank you, Dr. Frank. Well, this is the first time we've interviewed anybody from the office, so this is pretty cool. I think so, too. I was actually kind of nervous about it because I've never done a podcast before, but I was really excited about it. (laughs) So I wanted to start out a little bit about what made you want to pursue personal training and what made you want to pick that up. I've always found a lot of interest in body science in general. In school, science was always one of my favorite subjects, especially when I went into high school. Um, I was really big into biology. 
And when I first went into college, I actually started off with a interdisciplinary studies major with a concentration in science, which was basically um, science or education in science so that I could be a teacher. But I had actually changed up my major a couple of times and then I finally settled on exercise science and I definitely found that's where my heart was and everything was with the exercise science program. It's funny. That's what my degree is in too. When I went to Gettysburg, that's what I, that's what I took as well. Yeah. And I find a lot of chiropractors too. They're either their bachelor's is either in like some sort of kinesiology or exercise science. So being around in the chiropractics and with interns and everything, I find that something in common with a lot of them. Growing up, I actually played about 10 years of softball. Um, So I was always very athletic growing up. And then I kind of moved out of that a little bit. Before going into college, I wasn't doing a lot of active things. I was trying to learn more about getting into the gym and everything like that. But it really helped a lot. Whenever my first job, I actually got in with a gym. I was working for a Gold's Gym in Murfreesboro. And so that was my first job. And that's kind of really what introduced me into the exercise science field. And that's kind of really what grew my love for health, fitness, and exercise. So when you were looking for jobs, because I know you've worked at... GNC. GNC, that's right. Mm -hmm. Is that what kind of got you to go to that route? And then once you did that, start working with us after that? GNC was kind of more of an in-between job for me when I was looking for something else. And then that's when I found y'all. But before that, all I had ever known was working in some sort of fitness environment, whether that would have been Gold's because I had worked with them um, a couple of times, or if it had been with Hotworks. um, And I had worked with Hotworks, the very first one that opened up in Middle Tennessee. And I was with them for about three years. Um, So I really never worked a job that didn't include some sort of fitness or health aspect. So what kind of made you apply to come to our office then? When I first saw the ad put out for the job here, I had never worked with chiropractics before or anything like that. So I came into my interview thinking I was going to apply for a chiropractic therapy assistant job, which I did, but little did I know that y'all are also looking for a lipo laser technician. Um, And so also having that background in exercise science, I knew that's something that y'all were looking for. And um, so, yeah, that's kind of what brought me over here. And I think it's honestly the best decision that I've ever made for um, a job opportunity. When we interviewed you and I spoke with you, you mentioned that you were interested in going into competition and bodybuilding and really you know, losing weight, getting in shape. Tell me a little bit about that and working at our office, kind of how that's helped you come along on your journey as well. Actually, when I first got with my coach, I didn't really think I was going to do anything with bodybuilding or competing or anything like that. I just at first really wanted to go in and get a coach um, just for like lifestyle coaching and lifestyle training. Because um, as somebody who I've gotten my personal training certification, and I really just wanted to live that lifestyle. So that way I could help motivate clients of my own. That way I could really help them push and show them like if I could do something that they could do that as well. And so when I first started with my coach, for myself, I was overweight, and I wasn't happy um, with how I was. And so I was doing well, but then I wasn't doing as well as I wanted to be doing. But then that's when I met my husband, Blaine. He was honestly, I think, one of the biggest supporters and the biggest help that I've gotten with my weight loss and bodybuilding career to this point and everything, because he is a competitor himself. And um, he's just been such a big motivation for me. And getting to do bodybuilding with somebody who has such a big passion for it just really helps bring out my passion for, like I said, health, wellness, and fitness and everything. And now I even have a passion for bodybuilding. So in 2021, my husband, he actually won the Mr. Tennessee title in bodybuilding in his open class. Yeah, it was awesome. And that was the first time I had ever seen anybody go through a full prep. Um, That was the first time I ever went to a bodybuilding show. So to go to my first bodybuilding show and then also getting to see my husband win Mr. Tennessee when it had been such a big dream of his to win because his dad won it back in the 80s. It was such a special moment for the both of us. And then that's what really sparked my interest in wanting to compete as well. So 
I didn't, I didn't know that his dad won that too. Oh yeah. <laughs> he's, he's a big supporter too. And he's a good person to talk about all that stuff with as well. So as you started doing that and then you were working at the office and you know, you kind of saw people doing the lipo laser, doing the Cairo thin program. Did that also help you on your journey here to help kind of be around people that had the same goals like that? I think for me, the biggest thing that I got out of it was what all of our patients get out of it, because I can talk about my story with them and really be able to resonate with their own story. Because coming from my heaviest down to my stage physique, um, now it's about a two year time period, but I had dropped about 70 pounds um, during that time. And just wow. being able to, yeah, um, being able to get to talk with patients about my own journey, I can see how it affects them. And then we can talk about that. And then I'm really able to give them tips and tricks. And I feel like they're really able to trust me a little bit more and know that I'm not just there just to take their measurements and then get them in an appointment and out. I really do care about all the patients that come in and we get so many different kinds of people. And I love learning about their stories too. So what's been some of the most miraculous things you've seen at the office since you started working there? One of the coolest things that I've seen is one specific person that we've had come in do our Chirothin program, um, also doing a series of our lipo laser. Um, I think his first time going through the program, he lost about 30 and a half inches altogether going along with the Chirothin program. And that's something that I like to tell people too, because if he can stick with this program for six weeks and also be consistent with his lipo lasers, in all of his treatment and everything, there's no way that somebody else can't do it. If you can stick with the program, it's a big mental challenge too, when it comes to all this stuff. But that's why I always love being there, being able to help motivate them. But that's one of the greatest things that I've seen is just having that specific person come in. Like I said, they lost 30 and a half inches and just the look on people's faces you know, light up whenever they know that they've lost yeah. so many inches or so much weight. Cause I think he also lost close to 40 pounds. So it's awesome seeing the transformations in the patients that we have come in. Yeah. And I think that was actually during the holidays too. It which was, made it even yes. more difficult <laughs> during, you know, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's. Now, had you gone to the chiropractor before you worked at the office? Or no, was that, has I, this been your first exposure to it? <laughs> Yeah. So when I came in and we did kind of ran through like the new patient procedure with myself, I had never been to a chiropractic before, never had any kind of chiropractic experience. And so it was really cool being able to come in and see all this stuff and then getting to see <laughs> my own x-rays and seeing what's going on. And of course, going along with that, I have no idea that I had scoliosis the way that I did. And then the couple of other things that are happening in there. But now knowing that and then also being able to use that along with bodybuilding, it has helped so much as far as like recovery purposes, your digestive system, because I always tell our patients too, you know, chiropractics and weight loss can really go hand in hand with one another. And I think that's been a huge benefit for me personally, when it comes to, you know, being able to do all of my bodybuilding things along with the chiropractic. You know, if you don't mind me talking about it, like with the scoliosis that you have, yeah. that also is more of a unique condition. Right. And for you to be competing at such a high level with a significant scoliosis, I, I am really glad that you're getting adjusted because I don't know if you would have been able to put your body through as much of the rigors that you did to try mm -hmm. to get ready for that competition and then still train. Cause I know your, your passion is to do more competition. So Right. I just, I'm so glad that I've been able to help you along that journey and, and, you know, keep you healthy and, and able to recover, to be able to do all those workouts and just really push your body to the limit. Yeah, me too. It's, it's been awesome. And especially not just, you know, getting all of the adjustments and treatment and everything too, but also getting, you know, custom orthotics for myself as well. I think that was something else that helped me in the gym too. I think I've noticed like a big difference and like my pain levels, because of course, before coming in and knowing all of these things, I feel like it's like with everybody who's never been to a chiropractor, they think their back pain is normal. But now knowing right. that it's, you know, it's definitely not normal. Um, so I definitely think it's always worthwhile to go get yourself checked out with a chiropractor. But 
the orthotics have helped out so much, like I said, with pain, um, with balancing, which I've never really had a big issue with balance, but I feel it's the best way to say it. It's I probably feel more grounded <laughs> with these, with the orthotics. <laughs> in. It makes a huge difference. This is a great example of a case study of someone who has never been to a chiropractor before, never worn orthotics, you've never done, you know, the heavy lifting that you were doing. So mm-hmm. it's cool to see kind of your experience before and after that. Um, I also want to ask you, I know you've used the lipo laser on patients, but also on yourself. What is, yeah. what is your opinion of, of the lipo laser and kind of how has it helped you with your competition as well? I feel like with myself having um, done the treatments, that is something else that I'm able to talk about patients with because we always tell our patients, you know, the better you are, if you can stay on a well-balanced diet, if you're getting plenty of water in, if you're getting some activity in, it will really help benefit and maximize the results that you get with your during your lipo laser sessions. And so every single time um, that I have done a session myself, I have lost um, three to three and a half inches overall every single time, which compared wow. to an average, I would usually see maybe like an inch to an inch and a half per session. That's why I always like to tell people that really goes to show what you can do and how to maximize your sessions if you can just do these few little simple things on the outside. That's the other cool thing is that the lipo laser works by itself, but man, does it really crush it if you can do exercise along with it and watch what you're eating and drink some extra water? I mean, it's like you get double the results, really, if you just add a few things on that. Yeah. And that goes back to the patient we were just talking about previously, um, how he was able to lose 30 and a half inches during that first round of um, Chirothin. And he was following his diet 100%, you know, to a T. And he was getting a little bit of exercise in and um, it, it, he had awesome results. When you say that number 30 and a half inches, I mean, yeah, that's just, I know. I just had to say it again. <laughs> a lot of times I'll be in a consultation with a patient and I'll talk about some of the successes that people had and they just kind of look at me like I'm full of it. And <laughs> I think, you know, like, and to really like, when was the last time you heard somebody losing 30 and a half inches? I mean, it really is right. amazing to hear these things like that or someone that's losing like 40 pounds. And yeah. this is something that happens a lot in the office. This isn't just like, a one-time thing. We have people losing 10, 15, 20, 25 inches, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 pounds with our programs. And sometimes people think it's too good to be true, but we really do have a good system set up. It's Mm -hmm. set up for success for everybody. Sometimes Dr. Frank, I wish you could be back there when I'm doing their post measurement (laughs) after their first treatment, because the look on their faces, whenever I tell them, I'm like, oh, you lost an inch and a half or you lost two, three inches on your first session. And they just look at me and their mouth just drops in there in shock. And I'm like, I know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is actually uh, 10 years now, 10 years ago, I got the lipo laser and started using it. So it's been 10 years I've been actually using that lipo laser now. It's pretty cool. And we'll, we're even having some people who have done it maybe a year, two, three years ago who are coming back to wanting to do it again. So it really goes to show yeah. like, you know, it worked for them before and they're coming back to do it again. So it really, I love it. It's, it's so much fun back there. <laughs> I love that you get to see these things. And then I love that you get to share your story with, with patients. Now that you've achieved your success and you've been through the process and considering that not everyone would want to hit competition level results, is there some advice that would be universal to anyone with any goal that you might have? For me, one of the biggest things that I struggled with during my weight loss journey is on the weekends, I would struggle more with boredom eating or emotional eating. And I heard something one time that I thought was really cool and it's always stuck in my head Um, because for all of us, you know, all throughout the week, we can all have a set schedule. But when it comes to the weekend, you know, we're not always set. So I heard this saying one time, it said, don't let your weekend be your week end. And that just stuck with me. Oh, I love that. Yeah. And it, that was such an awesome thing to hear. And then I would say maybe um, one other thing too, um, you may not always be motivated during your journey, but you have to remember to stay dedicated. I think the average person doesn't realize what it takes to be competition level. And I watched yeah. what you did. I watched how the holidays came along and yeah. you know, <laughs> patients would bring in Baked goods and oh, candy that was hard. And stuff to the office. 
and you would never eat it. And I was like, wow, that takes some willpower <laughs> and some real dedication to just to walk away from that every single time. And I watched you over and over again, walk away from all the temptations. Oh, yeah. All those. <laughs> yeah. I just want to say it's been amazing to watch what you did and are still doing, you know, because I know you, you're going to compete again this year. Yes. Um, you came through on everything that you said you were going to do. You've gotten adjusted. You got orthotics. You you worked out. You've become competition level. I mean, it's just amazing to see that. And I, and I really admire what you've done. And I just want to say it's it's been a pleasure watching you oh, on your journey you. and also working with you at the office. Well, I'll have to add to that, too. You know, it. I did do all those things, but I honestly could not have done it without the team that I have, not just like my coach and with my husband and my posing coach. They 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 have helped me so much, but also to my work team, because I know everybody saw me coming back into the office and just like eating a meal every three hours. <laughs> and so <laughs> the, just how everybody is in the office and how motivating everybody else was on the days where I wasn't motivated. Just the fact that y'all were there to support me and allowed me to be able to um, achieve these things really was such a big thing for me. And honestly, you can ask Blaine, my husband, I got emotional a couple times about it even. <laughs> but, um, and to add on to that too, yeah, it it was a hard journey, but I don't regret anything about it. It was an awesome experience and I am so excited to do again, do it again. You, you got second place last time and I'm, and I'm working with you to, and we're going to look at getting first place this time. Absolutely. <laughs> so how can people find out more about you, see what you do, Instagram, Facebook? Yeah. So my Instagram name is at the underscore lady underscore train, or I even have a TikTok as well. So if anybody was wanting to watch my journey from my last prep, I documented all of that on my TikTok and my TikTok is at lady underscore train. Awesome. Well, it's been a pleasure speaking with you today and doing this interview. And I am really glad that you have done this journey. I was able to be a part of it. And I look forward to doing it again this year with you. And we'll talk again later in the year after you've done your, your next competitions and we can kind of interview again, see how that's been going. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Dr. Frank. As you can see, Emily is beyond a miracle success. But even with all the hard work she put into what she has become, it was an easy path to follow once we isolated her exact causes that were debarring her not only from losing unwanted weight, but from the career and competitive success she didn't even know lay ahead of her. She told an inspiring story of how she got inspired just from helping others, but also seeing their results. Sometimes we believe it easier when we see someone else do it first. So there is something to helping others. But just look at the transformation and how new opportunities she never even thought she would have suddenly became possible. This is what happens with my patients when I work with them. They come in wanting this much result, but get way more. They're clueless as to the optimum potential their bodies actually have. And when they find it out for real, suddenly they realize they've set goals way below where they could be and start crushing a new life doing something they never would have dreamed was possible, just like Emily here. So hopefully you got a little inspiration and I recommend to you to look a little deeper into your case with me. I can help screen you to at least find your potential. I can find your causes and report what I find to you and then I can make solid recommendations. All you got to do is reach out and I'm here to help start that process with you. In fact, if you want a special weight loss and fitness screening, all you got to do is call my office at 615-567-6683 and ask for it. My staff will know exactly what to do and hook you up with a time with me. So let's figure this out together. Check Emily out, but meanwhile, you should really check me out too. You can find me on Instagram and Facebook at Ideal Health and Wellness Center. But when you reach out, don't just check me out. Ask me the questions you need answered. I'm always saying that the coach's door is always open, and I mean that quite literally. And since we are mid our Back to the Future Season 5, let me say that the coach's DeLorean is running and ready, the time circuits are on, and the flux capacitor is fluxing. DM me with questions at Ideal Health and Wellness Center on both platforms. Tell me what's going on, and I'll tell you what I think. I'll look forward to discussing the future with you when you reach out. This is Coach Frank signing off. I'm sporting good posture and heading back to the future. How about you? 
The Sporting Good Posture Podcast is a broadcast wellness production powered by Ideal Health Wellness Center. All content copyright 2021. All rights reserved. Executive producer, Frank Sardella. Coach Frank appears courtesy of Ideal Health Wellness Center in Franklin. For more information, visit SportingGoodPosture.com and follow Coach on Instagram at SportingGoodPosture. Unless you know somebody who can play guitar. Bling, 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 <laughs> bling. <laughs> Earth angel, <laughs> Earth angel. <laughs> and there's our Easter egg, my friend. <laughs> yeah.